<laughs> now the thing is like uh, first time when we come in an astrophysicist i was like looking for opportunities like at least to like take part in a conference but then i got to know about the space camp it was about astronaut training so i'm like scared of height and water so this is about astronaut training but that that's like the only thing that i can do like actually how can i start it so yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> Hi. Uh, oh, sorry. sorry. Okay. No, uh, I don't know. Like, oh. <laughs> Hi. I'm 19 years old and I'm aspiring to become an astronaut. From the beginning, I was curious about stars, aliens, NASA. Like, I had this dream of working for NASA one day. So that's how it all began. In 2011, when I was like 11 years old, I joined the Astronomical Society of Home School. That's how it started in a particular manner, like an uh, organized manner, I would say. From the beginning, I was uh, dreaming to become an astrophysicist or an astronomer to like to do data analyzing and to work at an observatory. So ho hopefully I had no dream of like going to space or becoming an astronaut. My parents were not like that supportive because astronomy is kind of new to Sri Lanka. They were like asking me to become a doctor. Actually, it's their only like dream for me to become a doctor. But I was not interested in becoming a doctor. I wanted to do like something more, like something different what other people are doing. Actually, I got to know about the Space Camp scholarship and then I applied for it. I didn't tell my parents that I'm applying for this scholarship, like I just uh, got to know about this through like internet and then I started working on my own and I applied for that. After getting the scholarship the next thing was like to find the airfare because I have to like funded it like my own. Luckily I got the support from President Maitripala Sirisena, he funded me the airfare. When we are like at the space camp, all like the scenario was like as if we are in the International Space Station. So we are like the astronauts and like even like the habitats was like the place we like slept and had our stuff. It's like designed as we are in a International Space Station. So even if we are like taking food at the end of the day, they are going to like measure the food, like how much food that we have wasted. They are like teaching us this scenario like if you are in the International Space Station you can't waste food you have this limited number of food in the International Space Station and the thing is like when you are like wasting food it adds the weight to the International Space Station. Day one we had practice session for the low earth orbit mission. So they are like uh, giving this idea like creating the scenario what, what will happen like in the space. They assigned us the task, which is like to repair a, an a antenna. We'll be having a crew, which is at the mission control. They'll be like giving us the guidance, like they're asking uh, to do this and that. They asked me to like mission specialist to uh, repair this antenna P or antenna A. So I have to like, uh, you know, push myself and then hand over the antenna to the other mission specialist. So that's how was that mission was. The second mission, the EDM, the Extended Duration Mission, which was a three-hour mission. This mission was about like some people are in the International Space Station and then they are coming back to Earth. So we have to give the guidance to them to land safely. Our mission was successful. I was the chief medical officer. Some people are getting sick in the International Space Station. When they like tell me that they're having this kind of symptom, so I have to go through the logbook, which is having all the symptoms and all the medicines that I should like provide. And then I have to like decide which disease this person is having. And I have to like give them the medicine. And that's how was the mission. But the third mission was going to Mars, which was the Orion mission. That day also I was in the mission control. I was the FAO, the flight activities officer. So I have to like I go through the details about the environmental conditions on Mars and then I have to give them the guidance the navigation so I have to check the weather conditions and I have to like tell them this is the suitable place for you to land so that's how was the third mission was it was also successful 
at the end of the sixth day, which is the graduation ceremony, I got to meet a real astronaut named uh, Larry DeLucas. He is the first NASA civilian scientist who is currently uh, working for International Space Station. Yeah, the thing is, like, nowadays I barely get a <laughs> So, yeah, I love to, like, listen to music. I play guitar most of the time, like, that's one thing. Other than that, I, like, read about books about space and national, like, or maybe, like, watch movies or, like, sci-fi or horror movies. Doing my bachelor's, that's the next. Dream. Yeah, like the next goal. Other than that, I may like go for like maybe like skydiving or like uh, small, small things that will like make me like qualify for that big dream. Yeah.